Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Education Hive. Today, uh, today we are going to learn about the data types in Python. What is meant by data type? Data type means the specific, uh, da uh, specific type of uh, variables. Means a uh, variable stores the values and which type of value could be should be stored in a variable is specified by the data types. And there are number of type of data types in Python. Today we are going to see the built-in data types in the Python. The data types are divided in various parts just like text data types, numeric data types, sequence data types, mapping data types, set types, boolean types, none type. In text type, I will write here, I will commit it out first. And first we will see the text data types. Text type. Text type consists of one data type which is str. str means string which is used for the characters means alphabets. Next is numeric data type. Numeric type. Numeric data type consists of three sub data types, which is int, float, and complex. Int consists of the integer values, means the variable which is type of int will store only the integer value. Float means the point values means in terms of 0.1 or otherwise 2.3 or just like that 3.4 or many of this. This type of data type will specify the variable as to store the point values and complex means as we know the complex values just 3j, 4j, 3i, 4i the complex values. The next type is sequence data type. In sequence data type, we have three types. First is list, second is tuple, and third is range. In list, we store the elements. In tuple, same, we store the element, but list is immutable and tuple is immutable. And range gives the range of the data, uh, range of the types. mapping sorry mapping type mapping type consists of a dictionary means dict dict is the keyword dict it also stores the data such as a name of person age of person this type of uh, this type of information is stored in the data type variables. Now, set types. Set type consists of two set and frozen set. Set and frozen set. We can edit the set uh, by doing the functions on it, means add and many of others delete add we will see for in further videos and frozen set are the fixed set we can not do edit on that frozen set next is boolean in boolean we have bytes byte array and memory wave bytes byte array and memory view all these data types will stores the boolean values which is true in terms of a true and false 
this will store for a single this will store for the array and this will store for the whole of the memory next is none none type means no data type is assigned to any of the variable so these are the data types so these are the data types string int float complex list tuple range dict for dictionary set frozen set byte array memory view byte and none type so now we will see how to apply the data types for the variables we will start from the string it will go in comment now we will start our program execution first uh, i will take the variable a i want to do this variable as a string i want to store the data in the form of a string in that in this variable so i will convert to this to string str and now information hello world so the type of a will be string now i will take another variable b i want to store the integer value in b so int int and integer value i will store 36 so the 36 is the integer value which is going to be stored in a variable b then I will take C. I want to store the float value of lower T. So C 3.4 is the float value and it's stored in C. Now complex values just like a 5J, 4I, I will store in a E is the variable and I want to make that E as a complex. So complex 7J. The complex value 7J is stored in the E. Similarly, for the list tuple, we will store the elements just like this. L is the variable I will take for the list list. Now I will store, store, store the values. We have to give the one more bracket between the outer bracket. Double inverted commas. Ravi. Comma. We will separate it by the comma. Again double inverted comma. Ramesh. and Suresh. It's going to be same for the tuple. First, oh, only change in tuple and list is list is mutable and tuple is immutable. So we cannot change the tuple elements. I will give it the tuple. Tuple. Now range, how we specify the range of any variable, and then R I will take the variable and range of 6. How I will create the dictionary, so I will take the variable C, oh sorry, C is taken H, H as a variable, D I C T. In bracket, we will give first of we will store the name and name me name equals to Ravi, comma, age equals to 36. And if you want to, to store more, in, more information, just like address, address. Sorry. 
address equals to Pune. And store like this. It is a string, so we have to give it double inverted comma. Now I will create one seat. Just take the variable n and I will create the set by the keyword set. Yes, set is set. And I will store the data as an upper list Ravi, comma, Ramesh. Double inverted, sorry. Suresh. In this way, we will create the set and we will perform the various operation on the set too. In further video, videos, we will see the operations performing on, in, on the sets. So, this much for today's video. Thank you and have a nice day.